Hello, BookTube. This is Weekly Reads. My reading week this week has been really good. Um, over the course of the weekend, I read 12 volumes of Naruto by Masashi Kishimoto, volumes 46 through 57. And I had a blast. It was amazing. So, let's get the volumes reorganized. Um, so, Naruto by Masashi Kishimoto is one of the world's most popular manga. It's the story of a young man named Uzumaki Naruto, who, on the day of his birth, a giant nine-tailed demon fox um, attacked the village. The Hokage at the time sealed the demon fox into a uh, newborn Naruto at the cost of his own life. This resulted in Naruto becoming a Jinchuriki, uh, individual who has one of these tailed monsters sealed within them. There are eight others. Um, Naruto had been, as a child and young adult, um, ostracized by his community, by Kanoa. And this led to Naruto desiring to, uh, basically, he becomes a prankster, a class clown to gain attention. And he aspires to become Hokage, the leader of the village. Um, eventually, Naruto uh, becomes an apprentice ninja jinin on a, a four-person team with his two of his classmates, um, Sakura and Sasuke as well as a more senior ninja, Jonin, uh, named Kakashi. Eventually, Sasuke um, defects from the village um, to sort of apprentice with a, um enemy of the village named Orochimaru, whom Sasuke later betrays. Um, and Naruto becomes uh, hunted by a terrorist organization called the Akatsuki, a terrorist mercenary army of 10 uh, very powerful ninja who seek the tailed beasts sealed within the Jinchuriki. Um, there are also a number of um, stronger and weaker um, countries in the setting. There are five main countries, the most powerful countries, who are based on the five elements. So the main country, the country where Kanoa is, sort of its ninja village, is the land of fire. There is also the land of wind with Suna, uh, the hidden sand village. There's the land of water with the hidden mist. And then there's the land of earth with the hidden rock. And then finally, the land of rock lightning with um, the hidden cloud, Kumo. Um, um, so when this, um, these volumes begin, the public leader of the Akatsuki, uh, individual known as Pain, and his uh, sort of... Um, Teammate Conan have launched an assault on Kanoa, searching for Naruto, who has gone off to train with the Toads in Sage um, in the Sage Arts. Um, during Payne's attack, um, Kanoa is destroyed, and many Shinobi are killed, including Kakashi. Eventually, Naruto returns um, to face Pain and eventually defeats all of the six paths of pain. So pain has a special eye, the Renegan, which allows him to uh, perform any number of uh, ninja techniques. He has split this ability into six um, reanimated corpses or puppets that he um, controls remotely. 
So there's really a seventh pain. Um, and eventually Naruto confronts the seventh pain and talks him down, which is one of Naruto's techniques. He is quite adept at talking down or talking his enemies down because they are very broken by this um, shinobi system. And Pain resurrects the um, uh, shinobi that he killed during his attack. However, in the aftermath of this attack, um, Danzo, a hardliner elder of Kanoa, is appointed acting Hokage in place of the incapacitated Tsunade. And um, the Raikage, enraged at the seeming kidnapping of his brother, um, Killer B, who is himself the Jinchiriki of the Eight Tails, um, calls a Gokage summit, a summit of all five Kage. And a team of um, Hidden Cloud village uh, ninja come to the village seeking um, information on Sasuke because Sasuke was the one who seemingly captured Killer B. Um, he didn't. Killer B is just playing hooky. But, um, and during this, Naruto comes into conflict with two of the Hidden Cloud Ninja because Naruto is conflicted. Um, he doesn't want to believe that Sasuke's done what he's done. And he doesn't understand what's going on with Sasuke. And Naruto wants to help Sasuke. He just doesn't know how. Um, and so there's the Gokage Summit. Um, Denzo is revealed to be a rat, which, yeah. How he's gotten away with half the crap he's gotten away with is beyond me. But anyway. Um, Sasuke attacks the summit and fights most of the Kage and then eventually fights and kills Danzo. Um, and then um, Kakashi is set and then there's a reunion of um, this team under Kakashi. Um, Sasuke had been, after the time skip, replaced by a young ninja named Sai and Another ninja, Yamato, has occasionally taken Kakashi's place um, as needed. And so there's a reunion of the entirety of the original cell under Kakashi um, for the first time in years. And it's really a contrast between Naruto and Sasuke, and it's brilliant. And then um, Tsunade wakes up. And is confirms the sort of um, alliance of five main ninja villages that resulted from the shambles that was the Gokage Summit. And Naruto and Killer B are sent off ostensibly to train Naruto into how to better utilize uh, the Nine Tails, but also to get them out of way of the war because they're the primary targets and there's a fourth shinobi world war coming up and it's uh, basically fought between 80,000 uh, shinobi from the united five shinobi villages as well as the samurai um, who played host to the gokage summit and um, the forces of what's left of the akatsuki um, who is now headed by an individual claiming to be Madara, allied to um, Kabuto. So there's several thousand uh, clone troops. Um, one of the members of the Akatsuki, um, Zetsu, um, is a humanoid plant who can um, has been partially cloned. And this is forming the bulk of the um, Akatsuki forces, but Kabuto has also utilized the Edo Tensi, a ninja technique that can resurrect deceased shinobi, and he's used it on several major 
to bring back several major characters who appeared periodically throughout the series. And the war is just amazing. And this volume concludes, and this series of volumes concludes with um, Naruto and Killer B uh, joining the battle. Once Naruto figures out there's a war going on and he desperately wants to fight in it as well. And is eventually allowed to after um, talking, uh, basically convincing the Raikage. So anyway, so with all of that out of the way, let's look at some uh, pictures. Okay, so the cover of Naruto. And there's Konohamaru, who's a friend of Naruto's. Oh, yeah. And then there's the destruction of Kanoa. And then out of that, you know, <laughs> comes Naruto. So, um, oh yeah, and during these arcs, during the conflict with Pain, as well as um, during the teaming of the Nine Tails, um, Naruto discovers who his um, parents are. In fact, his father was the fourth Hokage, the Hokage who sealed uh, the Ninetales into baby Naruto, and his mother was the previous Ninetales, Jin Chiriki. And I'll show her in a second, because the one of the volumes is primarily the story of the birth of Naruto. And then that moment of awesomeness from Hinata, who uh, fights pain while Naruto is briefly captured. Do one to get right there. And then here are the various other ninja villages. So this is um, Iwagakure, the hidden stone village. And so here's the um, Suchikage, the leader of Iwa. And then there's the one for the hidden mist, uh, Kirigakure. And it's uh, Kage um, Mei, or it's uh, Mizukage. And then there's the Rai Kage, ready to set out. And then Naruto, I think. And here's a picture of 
the Gokage, including um, uh, the kind of uh, acting Hokage. Do the fight with the Danzo because that is an awesome fight. I mean, the fight at the Gokage Summit is really amazing as well, but I really like um, Sasuke's fight with Danzo. that and then there's one scene from here that I really want to show you just it is just oh yeah here's this and then just this double piece spread is amazing. It's <laughs> just amazing. Oh. And there's So yeah. Okay, so that was awesome. And then there's um volume fifty three, which is about Naruto's birth and his parents. And so yeah. So that was fun. I had, I had a blast. Um, so, um, over the course of the work week, I normally bail on something. And this week, I did not bail. I read The Cleopatras by Lloyd Llewellyn Jones. This is a history of the um, later part of, the, of Ptolemaic Egypt. When most of the princesses of the dynasty were called Cleopatra. So the book starts with um, Cleopatra Syra, who was a Seleucid princess who married um, Ptolemy the fifth. And it goes from there to the final Cleopatra, the famous Cleopatra, the seventh Cleopatra. And so the book looks at each of the Cleopatras, those who do get numbers and the ones who don't, because um, there are a few more than just seven. There's about 10 Cleopatras. Um, and so it looks at their history, the story of each of these women, um, sort of a, not quite a group biography. It's more of a history of the the, the later part of the Ptolemaic dynasty with these um, seven and three other Cleopatras at the center. And it's okay. 
I liked it. Um, I wasn't blown away by it. Um, it, yeah. So that's that. Um, anyway, so my reading plans for this coming oh, reading week are I'm going to read some manga over the course of the weekend. On Saturday, I'm going to read six, excuse me, including My Hero Academia by Kohei Horikoshi. This will be volume 38, as, as well as Chujin X volumes 2 and 3 by Sui Ishida. And three volumes of Yu Yu Hakusho, volumes four, five, and six by uh, Yoshihiro Togashi. And then on Sunday, I will read six more volumes of manga. Twin Star Exorcist, volume three by Yoshiaki Tsukino. And... Gachia Kuta, Volumes 1 and 2, by K. Urana. And three volumes of Bleach, by Tite Kubo. Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume 3. And then over the course of the work week, I think I will return to... Um, June on the Range, and try my luck with Writers of the Purple Sage by Zane Gray. And if um, I need, like, if there's extra time or um, I just don't get on with Writers of the Purple Sage, I will adjust as needed and report back next week for weekly reads. So my book two plans for next week I'm going to, I think, start on the um, classics, canonical, modern, and contemporary fiction, poetry, and drama. Um, so now a caveat with that, um, and I will hopefully remember to leave uh, the caveat in each video. My initial thought when I was doing, um, when I was filming these videos was to try different new names for the part of my collection that I call classics, canonical, modern, and contemporary fiction, poetry, and drama. Um, and I did that for the first four of the seven videos. Um, but then I sort of, um, lost it. And so I'm just going to stick with classics, canonical, modern, and contemporary fiction, poetry, and drama. And while with my science fiction and fantasy collection, I tried to insert some humor in the titles. In this case, I think what I'm going to do is there are seven parts, and there are seven parts in the name. So even though the first part, which I call, which would be classics, will not just include classics. It will have more than that. Um, I'm just going to do classics, canonical, modern, contemporary fiction, poetry, drama. And yeah. So, and of course I did, uh, and I'll try to do some other videos as well. There was um, a video that Steve Donny who did on Wednesday about um, how I picked my next book. Um, I would like to do, so hopefully I might be able to do that next week. I wasn't able to do that today. Um, so hopefully I'll be better able to do that next week and I'll hopefully be able to do other discussion style videos as well. We shall see. Um, so in new booktube, that's all I have for this week. So until I see you next week, thank you. Have a great afternoon or evening and have a great weekend and stay safe.